Get Bob Tallis here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm recording from my computer, my laptop computer, which I brought the other day. So this is myself recording from my laptop. So as you can see, I'm trying to adjust the camera. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, enough about my computer. Let's start. Carolina Panthers and the Chicago Bills. It was a big, massive trade only on about two and a half hours ago, close to three hours, that took place in the NFL, impacting the NFL draft. The Carolina Panthers have traded wide receiver DJ Moore, the ninth overall pick, the 61st overall pick in this draft. 2023, they also traded away 2024 first round pick and a 20 and a second round pick in the 2025 NFL draft. In return, the Carolina Panthers acquired the first overall pick in the upcoming draft. So let's put it this way, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good trade for both teams. And here's why. Chicago Bears, they have the starting quarterback, franchise starting quarterback in Justin Field. They had the first overall pick. They acquired first overall, pardon me, ninth overall pick in this year draft, 61 overall pick, second round, which is very high pick, and the ninth, and the First round pick in 2024 draft, plus a second round pick in the 2025 NFL draft. And even more importantly, the Chicago Bears, ladies and gentlemen, acquired DJ Moore, wide receiver DJ Moore, which is a Panthers fan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my friend. It's a pretty good value return for the Chicago Bears. On the other end, for the Carolina Panthers, is the die-out Panthers fans, ladies and gentlemen, I like this move. I really do. Sure, you don't want to give away DJ Moore, but let's be honest. What lacking for the Carolina Panthers all over this years? Last year, the year before, the previous year. Basically, up until Cam Newton suffers a shoulder injury, thanks to TJ Watt in the Steelers games back in 2018, Thursday night game, prime time, which the Panthers lost in a big time, which we won't talk about that game, but that game, Cam Newton suffered a shoulder injury, thanks to T.J. Watt. The result of that, Cam Newton wasn't the same afterward. Ever since then, the Carolina Panthers were looking for the next Cam Newton or next franchise quarterback. They tried with Baker Mayfield. They tried with Teddy Bridgewater. They tried with Sam Donald, P.J. Walker. They tried with Jacob Eason in one game. They tried with Christian McCaffrey running back, lining up as a quarterback. In 2018, Panthers against the Saints. He didn't walk out, even though McCaffrey had one touchdown throw to Chris Maynard. He didn't walk out. He's not a running back. Obviously, Christian McCaffrey, and he was traded to the 49ers at the trading deadline this season so obviously it's not on the team anymore they tried with cam newton they brought him back last year it was a nice story it got the fans excited but it wasn't the answer carolina panthers right now have the right coaching staff on the roster on the team to definitely draft the next franchise quarterback. And the question is, 
Who is it going to be? Who will Frank Wright, Scott Federal, Dan Morgan, Josh McCown, Thomas Brown? Today, think about drafting. Who will owner David Tepper and his wife Nicole Tepper suggest that the Carolina Panthers drafting? Who will cap export Samin Suleiman will suggest that that the Carolina Panthers will be drafting? Is it going to be CJ Stroud? Is it going to be Bryce Young? Is it going to be Will Levis? Maybe it's going to be Anthony Richardson. Maybe, just maybe, Panthers will trade down, which is not going to be the case anymore in draft. Maybe late, late in the first round, Eden Oku. But whoever it is, the future is very bright for this team. And sure, you don't want to lose DJ Moore. My opinion, he was one of the best players on the Carolina Panthers. But here's the deal, my friend. In the NFL, without a starting quarterback, without a franchise quarterback, you're not going to win many games in the NFL. Look, in, look at the defending champ, Kansas City Chiefs. Why they keep winning Super Bowls? Sure, it's not because of Andy Reid starting in the State Farm commercial, drawing a mustache on his playoffs when they're sleeping. It's not because of their defense. It's not because of the special team or running team or the coaching staff. But it's because of one particular player, Patrick Mahomes, who set up everything else in dominoes. You look at the success, they made the Super Bowl, they lost by four points in a thrilling Super Bowl to the Kansas City Chiefs. Why they made it so far to the Super Bowl? It's not because of their coaching staff. It's not because of their running game or defense, which was very good. But it's because of Jalen Olds, ladies and gentlemen. That makes the playoff. Look at my Panthers. Look at the Falcons. Look at why did they make the playoff last year. Look at the Jets. Why they did not make the playoff last year? Because they did not have a franchise quarterback on the roster. And sure, team like the Green Bay Packers. Had Aaron Rodgers, they did not make the playoff last year. But in part, because their roster beside Rodgers wasn't good, wasn't good enough. You look at the Vikings, who made the playoff last year. You look at the Giants making the playoff last year. Why? Because they had a pretty good starting quarterback on the roster. Carolina Panthers have all the foundation to be a dangerous team next season and to be a contender on the NFC. And I'm not just talking about the NFC South, which we know it's mediocre, it's weak. I'm talking about the NFC. The NFC right now, it's wide open. Sure, you expect the Eagles to be very good, you're probably expecting the 49ers to be very good. In Dallas, you don't know which Cowboys team is going to show up. Are they going to be pretty good or not? But after that? It's the third, fourth team. You can say the Vikings. You can say the Lions. But in the same group, I will put the Carolina Panthers as a team to be reckoned with because they have the defense, they have the offensive line, they have top of the line coaching staff. What they are missing is the next Cam Newton, their next franchise starting quarterback. 
It could be CJ Stroud. It could be Bryce Young. It could be Will Levis, even though I doubt that the Carolina Panthers would have acquired a first overall pick to draft Will Levis. But we will see. It could be Anthony Richardson, who I also doubt will be the first overall pick. But we will see. But the bottom line, this Carolina team is not far away from contending for Super Bowl. Yes, I say Super Bowl. Yeah, they didn't make the playoff last year. But why? The first six games was by someone named Matt. Now in Nebraska, we, we, don't, we don't say his name in, in, your, in Carolina. That name is offensive to Panthers fans. So we don't say that name. But last year, Panthers did not have a good starting quarterback on the roster. They had a defense. They had a special team. They had offensive line. They had good wide receiver combined with DJ Moore, LaShanta Chanel, Terrence Marshall Jr. But once again, no quarterback. No decent quarterback. Without a decent quarterback, you cannot win games in the NFL. Forget about making the playoff, winning a weak division, going, becoming a Super Bowl contender. But with a starting quarterback, with a very good defense, top of the line defense already in place, with special team already in place, with the best, one of the best, if not the best coaching staff in the NFL, my friend, this Carolina team better be reckoned with come 2023 season and beyond if they can stay healthy. That is the key. Staying healthy. So trading wise, draft wise, grade wise, Chicago Bears, I give them a B minus. A B minus. Because they got DJ Moore. They got the ninth pick, which I'm not sure if they will be able to get their player if the ninth pick. We know that they are not going to draft a quarterback. That is for sure. But they might not get Will Anderson or Jalen Carter or Bisha Robinson. Three pretty good players who might not last until the ninth pick. So that is a risky move by Chicago. Sure, they get the 24th, 20, 21st, first round pick, second round pick in this year draft, second round pick in 2025 draft. But presuming, just presuming, hypothetically, the Carolina Panthers just make the playoff next season, which I think they will. I really do believe that. Then Chicago is looking at a very low pick. They're not looking at a top five, a top 10. They might be looking at the top 20, top 25, which is not good enough in that particular case. And the biggest acquirement, the biggest piece of this trade for Chicago, which by itself, I give it the A plus, is DJ Moore. He's very underrated, he's very good, he's going to be automatically the best wide receivers that the Chicago Bills have on the roster right now. For the Carolina Panthers, I give it to A minus. It's not A plus because I personally I would have rather trade away 2025th first round pick and keep DJ Moore, but apparently according to numerous report on Twitter and elsewhere, that wasn't possible. So it's an A minus, but it's almost A plus because I do trust the Carolina Panthers coaching staff to make the right move and draft the next franchise quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. And you hear it from me, ladies and gentlemen, and if I'm wrong, you can let me know. Shaked Bartal, it's March the 10th, 
2023, 9.06 p.m., the Carolina Panthers will be making the playoff in 2023 season. Carolina Panthers will become a Super Bowl contender starting in 2023. Goodbye, everyone.